Ever wondered about the ancient origins of the Israeli-Palestinian conflict? Let's journey back in time to the region known as Palestine, a land rich in history and culture. This region, a crossroads of civilizations, has been home to a myriad of peoples over several millennia. In the ancient times, it was the Canaanites who first established their cities here. Their culture and traditions seeped into the very soil of this land. Then came the Philistines, a seafaring people from the Aegean, who left an indelible mark on the region's identity. Despite the passage of time and the rise and fall of empires, the echoes of these ancient civilizations still resonate in the modern landscape of Palestine. Their stories lay the groundwork for understanding the complex tapestry of cultures and conflicts that define the region today. Now with this historical context in mind, let's delve deeper into the evolution of the modern conflict. The roots of the present-day issues start to take shape during the Ottoman Empire and intensify under the British Mandate. In the late 16th century, the Ottoman Empire enveloped Palestine. Under this rule, Palestine experienced significant changes. The Ottomans implemented a series of administrative and fiscal reforms known as the Tanzimat, which modernized the empire and had profound effects on Palestine. These reforms included the centralization of authority and the standardization of laws, which led to the creation of an organized bureaucratic state. However, local power dynamics shifted, with a new class of urban notables gaining influence. These notables often acted as intermediaries between the local population and the Ottoman administration, further complicating the social and political fabric of Palestine. Fast forward to the early 20th century, and the British Mandate period begins. Palestine's fate takes a dramatic turn during World War I when Britain promises to support the establishment of a national home for the Jewish people in Palestine known as the Balfour Declaration. Named after Britain's Foreign Secretary Arthur Balfour, this declaration kindles a steady influx of Jewish immigrants into Palestine. The Balfour Declaration, however, was perceived differently by the Arab and Jewish communities. While Jews worldwide celebrated this as a significant step towards realizing their long-held dream of a homeland, the Arab majority in Palestine saw this as a betrayal of their rights and national aspirations. This period also witnesses the growth of national consciousness among Palestinians and Jews alike. Both groups, though living side by side, begin to develop distinct national identities, further deepening the divisions between them. As the British Mandate period draws to a close, tensions escalate. Britain, unable to resolve the growing conflict, decides to hand over the issue to the United Nations. The British Mandate officially ends in May 1948, leaving behind a heated cauldron of competing national aspirations and deep-seated grievances. As the British Mandate ended, a new chapter began for Palestine. In 1948, amidst growing tensions, the State of Israel was established, triggering a war that would forever change the region. This creation was not without a blueprint. The United Nations had, in 1947, proposed a partition plan, a design to split the British Mandate of Palestine into two separate entities, one Jewish and one Arab. The plan was accepted by Jewish leaders, yet rejected by Arab counterparts and Palestinian leaders, who saw it as a violation of the rights of the majority Arab population in Palestine. Despite the rejection, on May 14, 1948, David Ben-Gurion, the head of the Jewish Agency, declared the establishment of a Jewish state in Eretz Israel to be known as the State of Israel, an act that marked the end of the British Mandate in Palestine. This declaration was not met with applause from all corners, instead it sounded the war drums. The very next day armies from five Arab nations, Egypt, Syria, Jordan, Lebanon and Iraq invaded the newly formed state. This was the start of the 1948 Arab-Israeli War, a brutal conflict that would last nearly a year. This war was not without its human cost. It led to a massive displacement of people, known today as the Palestinian Nakba, or catastrophe. Upwards of 700,000 Palestinians were forced to flee or were expelled from their homes during the war. A refugee crisis was born, the reverberations of which can still be felt today. The war ended in 1949 with Israel's victory, but it did not bring peace. The armistice lines drawn at the end of the war were intended as temporary boundaries, not a permanent solution. 
Yet they became the de facto borders of Israel solidifying the division and setting the stage for further conflicts. The 1948 war set the stage for a conflict that remains unresolved to this day. The following decades were marked by wars and intifadas, shaping the modern Israeli-Palestinian conflict. In the late spring of 1967, the region was thrown into chaos with the eruption of the Six-Day War. This was a pivotal moment in the Israeli-Palestinian narrative, with Israel seizing control of the West Bank, Gaza Strip, and East Jerusalem. The aftermath was a changed map and a displaced Palestinian population, further complicating the already tense atmosphere. Fast forward to the late 80s, a new form of resistance emerged in Palestine, the First Intifada. This was a largely civilian uprising, marked by strikes, boycotts, and civil disobedience. The stones thrown by Palestinian youths became emblematic of this period, symbolizing David's struggle against Goliath. The Intifada brought international attention to the plight of Palestinians living under occupation and marked a shift in the power dynamics of the conflict. The turn of the millennium, however, ushered in the Second Intifada, a markedly more violent uprising. The hope for peace that had been kindled by the Oslo Accords in the 90s was extinguished as suicide bombings and military operations surged. The reverberations of this period are still felt today with the construction of the Israeli West Bank barrier and the ongoing restriction of movement for Palestinians. These wars and intifadas have had profound impacts on the political and social landscape of Palestine. The Six-Day War led to an increased Israeli presence in Palestinian territories, while the intifadas highlighted the desperation and resilience of the Palestinian people. The scars of these events run deep, shaping the identities and narratives of both Palestinians and Israelis. Understanding these complex histories is key to understanding the current conflict. The wars and intifadas are not just historical events, they are part of an ongoing narrative that continues to shape the lives of millions. These events have left deep scars fueling a cycle of conflict and retaliation. Today, the Israeli-Palestinian conflict remains a complex and contentious issue, with no clear solution in sight. The land of historic Palestine, a place steeped in rich history and culture, is presently caught in a web of geopolitical tensions and ongoing disagreements. Let's delve a bit deeper into the current situation. The settlement issue continues to be a major roadblock. Israeli settlements in the West Bank and East Jerusalem lands that Palestinians see as integral parts of their future state continue to expand. This expansion is viewed by many in the international community as a violation of international law, further complicating the pursuit of peace. And then there's Jerusalem, a city of profound religious significance to Jews, Christians, and Muslims alike. Its status has been a point of contention for decades. Israel asserts Jerusalem as its undivided capital, while Palestinians claim East Jerusalem, occupied by Israel since the 1967 war, as the capital of their future state. The city's future remains a sensitive and complex issue. The concept of a two-state solution, where Israel and Palestine would exist peacefully side by side, has been the cornerstone of peace negotiations for years. But it's a goal that seems increasingly elusive. The political, geographical, and social challenges facing this solution are monumental. They include disagreements over borders, the right of return for Palestinian refugees, security concerns, and the political disunity among Palestinians themselves. Yet, even as we discuss these challenges, it's important to remember that behind the politics and the headlines are the lives of millions of people. People who, regardless of their nationality or religion, yearn for peace, prosperity, and a better future for their children. While the road to peace seems fraught with obstacles, the hope for a just and lasting solution endures. Because at the end of the day, it's not just about borders and territories, it's about human lives, their rights and their dreams. And it's these human elements that should guide us as we navigate the road ahead. So, what have we learned about the Israeli-Palestinian conflict? We've journeyed through the ancient history of Palestine, witnessing the rise and fall of different empires and the evolution of the region under Ottoman rule. We've observed the impacts of the British Mandate and the subsequent creation of Israel in the wake of the 1948 war. Our exploration led us through a tumultuous timeline of wars and intifadas, each event leaving an indelible mark on the fabric of the region. We've examined the current situation and looked at the potential road ahead, understanding the multifaceted nature of this ongoing issue. 
Despite the political, religious, and territorial disputes, it's crucial to remember the individuals living through this conflict every day. Their stories, their struggles, and their hopes for peace are what make this history so compelling and so vital to understand. Understanding the past is key to navigating the future. As we continue to grapple with the complexities of the Israeli-Palestinian conflict, we must never lose sight of the human element at its heart.